Are you searching for an X-Factor in the Pacers' Knicks series? Look no further than Andrew Nemhart. The Pacers' second-year guard came up big in his first postseason series as they outscored the Bucks by 10 points per 100 possessions when he was on the floor. This wasn't a fluke, as Nemhart has the skills on both ends of the floor that should lead to him being effective when playing big minutes. I'm going to take a deeper look into Nemhart's strengths as a player and how he could make his presence known not only in this series, but beyond as a key player for the Pacers. Coming out of Gonzaga, Nemhart was seen as a pure point guard. However, in Indiana, where he's playing with Tyrese Halliburton and TJ McConnell, the majority of his minutes this year came at shooting guard per basketball reference. Despite that, Nemhart's offensive skills make this work. Thanks to Nemhart playing with other capable passers, he's gotten a lot of three-point attempts off the catch, both in the regular season and postseason, that were considered unguarded. He shot well on those in the regular season, but converted eight of those 12 attempts from deep considered unguarded versus the Bucks. However, that also opens up his abilities creating off the dribble where he can attack closeouts and create for himself and others. Let's take a look at Nemhart on this possession off a spot up. With the Pacers ball movement, the Bucks defense is scrambling. Now Nemhart gets the ball in the corner and it appears he already anticipated how he was going to react. Immediately after letting his opponent fly by, he finds an open teammate on the wing and creates an advantage. Now Aaron Neesmith off this pass has two favorable options. He still has time to kick it out to Obi Toppin for what's likely an open corner three, or do what he did and finish at the basket for two points. Now here's an example of how Nemhart's point guard experience helps when playing in an off-the-ball role. This play starts with Nemhart setting a quick ghost screen, but based on how the Bucks' defense is playing, they're waiting for the Halliburton pick and roll with Miles Turner. Nemhart drifts in the open space, and his decisiveness downhill has the Bucks scrambling. The decisiveness leads to three defenders rotating, including Malik Beasley, who rotates into the paint. Nemhart notices and makes a skip pass to the corner, which results in a wide-open look from three. Not surprisingly, Ben Shepard capitalizes on the advantage, leading to three points for the Pacers. I could go in the Nemhart's ability to create out of pick and roll for himself and others. The most importantly in this series versus the Knicks will be Nemhart's defense. Interesting enough, do you know what player Nemhart spent the most time defending during the regular season? None other than Jalen Brunson. With Nemhart as his primary defender, Brunson shot just 7 of 21, though he did draw 6 shooting fouls. Let's take a look at some clips from a game 3 months ago to see what helped make Nemhart so successful defending Brunson. The Knicks run a lot of actions with Brunson in pick and roll, and this is an example. One thing that stands out about Nemhart here is how quickly he works through the screen. With how fast he reacted and with Miles Turner and drop coverage, Brunson already knows getting into the paint is unlikely, and by the time he gets into his dribble move, Nemhart's fully recovered, and it makes for a tough jumper. Now later in this game, here's Nemhart defending Brunson operating out of a handoff. Again, look how quickly Nemhart works through the initial screen and limits space for Brunson to attack. While Brunson is fantastic at backing down opposing guards and creating space with his footwork, Nemhart did a great job of limiting Brunson from creating separation on this possession. This leads to a tough jumper off the dribble, and while Brunson can make these, their shots an opposing team will live with. It's unlikely Nemhart shoots nearly 60% like he did in the series versus the Bucks, but you can see why he's such a difference maker for the Pacers. He can play off the ball and make opponents pay from three, but also utilizes his point guard skills to create for himself and others, whether it's off spot-ups or running pick and roll. Then in this series, there's his defensive matchup versus Jalen Brunson, where his ability to navigate screens to go along with his anticipation and length could lead to some tough shots. Even if the Pacers don't win this series, these are valuable qualities to have in a young player, and Nemhart should be a staple in their rotation for the foreseeable future.